Hey folks, Zeus, the king of gods and the master of Mount Olympus. We're gonna unpack the saga of this mighty deity who rules the skies and stands as the symbol of justice and law. Born to the titan gods Cronus and Rhea, Zeus was one of six siblings, but his story starts off legendary. Dodging a grim fate at the hands of his father Cronus, Zeus survived, nurturing his latent powers, and ultimately took his place atop Olympus. Let's get a visual on Zeus. His appearance totally captures his divine authority and sanctity. Rockin' a golden mane that's often crowned or banded, Zeus embodies nobility and royal rights. And those eyes, charged with wisdom and decisiveness, sometimes crackling like lightning, symbolize his formidable power. The dude's got a physique that screams warrior capabilities and limitless strength, while the thunderbolt in his grip is his go-to weapon, asserting his control over the heavens and weather. Titanomachy is rooted in the tyranny of Zeus's dad, Cronus. Fearing an overthrow prophesied by his offspring, Cronus swallowed his children whole. But Zeus, through a slick move by his mom, Rhea, survived and rose to dethrone Cronus. Prepped for the ultimate showdown, grown-up Zeus rallied his siblings and allies, the Cyclopes and the Hecaton Cares, to take on the Titans. They even hooked him up with his signature Thunderbolt, while Poseidon got his trident, and Hades snagged an invisibility cloak. The wind spelled the dawn of the Olympian gods' era, with Zeus clinching the title of the King of Gods. During the Trojan War, Zeus aimed to keep the peace among the deities, forbidding direct interference in mortal combat. But divine emotions and family ties often bent the rules, especially with gods like Aphrodite, Athena, and Hera, playing favorites, thrusting Zeus into some pretty sticky situations. The fate of Achilles and Hector was a game changer, Initially wishing to prolong Hector's life, Zeus ultimately allowed fate to take its course with Achilles sealing Hector's doom. This pivotal move reshaped the war and sealed Troy's destiny. The Typhonomachia, or the battle with Typhon, was another high-stakes clash. Zeus and his divine crew faced off against Typhon, a monster birthed from Gaia and Tartarus, and one of the most fearsome beings in Greek mythology. Sporting flames, multiple heads and hands, and sometimes wings, Typhon initially looked like a contender. But Zeus, using his trusty thunderbolt, took down Typhon. Typhon is still down there, stirring up trouble in Sicily's Mount Etna. This victory locked in the divine authority of Zeus and the Olympians, marking a critical shift in Greek mythology. Before the Edict of Milan, the church was already absorbing public roles in society, growing its influence. Eventually, it wasn't persecution that dethroned polytheism, but a cultural shift as Christianity won out in the public domain. This painting captures the end of an era, with Zeus, who had reigned supreme in the heavens for centuries, yielding to the rise of Jesus in a total regime change. Until next time, legendary viewers.